What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this guide, I'll be showing you the side quest Fall of the Dead. I'll activate it, track it on the map, and we'll head over there into the secret rooms and the room of requirement. We'll speak to Deke here. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me? Indeed. Uh, Dig thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen uh, so that you can breed beasts. That sounds a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Indeed suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then, you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. And now we've started Fall of the Dead. We'll need to rescue a male Thestral and purchase a breeding pen spellcraft. To rescue a male Thestral, I'll hover over the quest, press F to locate it on the map, and we see them all the way up here in the north. There surely are others elsewhere we can go to, but I suppose this is just the one that it's marked. Because I have somewhere nearby, I'll fast travel there, and we can mount here. So, across, and down here we see some of them. I'll use a rest momentum on one of these, and we'll try to catch it. Oh, it's gone. Alright. There we go. Now that we have a male, we need to purchase a breeding pen, Spellcraft. So we'll head back to Hogsmeade, and in here, all the way down to the south, by the Spellcraft shop, Tomes and Scrolls, we'll head. Heading in here, speaking to Thomas, we'll look for this one here. It'll be highlighted, the breeding pen, Spellcraft. I'll purchase it, and we'll head back to Deke. So, Hogwarts map, up at the top of the sun here, then room of requirement. Inside here, we'll speak to Deke on the right. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. Now we have a swamp. Deke never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Inside him, we'll go to the Conjuring spell, Beast items, and the Breeding Pen. We'll put it down somewhere here. This is huge. There we go. Now, inside of here, we'll hit F to interact, manage beasts, and we'll place the Thestrals in here. So, I'll put these two Thestrals in here. Once you've done this, you'll see choose a species. So, I'll select Thestrals here, and just like that, they'll be breeding. Now, all we need to do is wait. If we manage it once more, you'll see what's happening here. So, one's nesting, one's nurtured, and one's gestating. For this quest to finish, you'll need to wait half an hour, so you'll need to head off into other quests. Some time has passed, we'll head back in. When we get here, you can see groom and feed the Thestral offspring. So, we'll go ahead and groom it. I'll use the brush and the feed. So I'll feed it and brush it. There we go. Speaking to Deke. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we both can see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. 
Deke is to blame. What do you mean to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Of course, but that's Follow the Dead complete, so thank you all for watching. My name is Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.